Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to the Tribe of the Tides, where in the last episode we began exploring this island properly for the very first time, and our tribe is kind of separated off into three different groups now. So on the western side of the island, we have our little water babies who I absolutely adore. They are all so colorful with their different color eyes. They kind of remind me of like all of the different treasures that you would find in the ocean, and I feel like when they do start leaving and going into the water, they're probably going to be bringing a lot of different like colorful shells and sea glass and whatnot, and decorating their territory with it, I feel like that would probably be very, very fitting of this group just based on how colorful they are. But we have Echo here, who is our very first baby with a water body, which is pretty cool because it gives them this kind of like almost bluish look to them. So this guy looks purple with his purple eyes. I mean, he is just the most gorgeous creature I have ever seen and I'm so happy with him. And I think since he's our first creature with a water body, he might actually be the one to inherit the seas, if you will. He'll be the one to kind of like take over the side of the island just like Duke Meme over on the uh, other side right here. So he's like our original king. He was the uh, reincarnation of Animeme for this island as we always seem to have. He was the first male reincarnation too. So he has kind of led this group off to um, the east and he's doing okay. He's doing okay, but unfortunately these guys don't have any way to collect the berries, so they're kind of just um, relying on different sources of meat right now, and they're probably going to try to uh, figure out how they can harvest the fish from this little stream right here. We did find a new fish in the last episode, though it seems to have disappeared, so unfortunately they won't be collecting that today, but hopefully they can find some more as they clear out a little bit more of this grass. Um, Bolt is currently sitting right on top of the stump so that he can kind of scout the area a little bit more, though I think we might actually swap him out with um, one of the babies later on. We have Ilair here who was born from Duke Meme and Dawn and um, Duke Meme does actually need to find an heir pretty soon because he only has eight days left of his lifespan so he is a little bit older than um, many of the other creatures in the pack and he's probably going to need to pick who will um, take control of this side of the island pretty soon. And last but not least we have the group in the middle right here who I kind of consider to be like our traditionalists of the pack. They are the only ones who follow the old ways and continue eating their berries because of course Eclipse is the only creature in this entire pack on this entire island who has managed to inherit the nimble fingers and we are trying and trying and trying with the mutation menu involved to um, get those nimble fingers to pass on to his babies but so far no luck so far we have not had any luck at all um Ivy is currently pregnant with one of his babies so maybe that'll be the one maybe though I did forget to click on this poor little baby in the last episode Kuduknu is his name right now he's probably going to be one of the very last children that Sira is able to have. She might be able to have one more baby if we let her have hers before Ivy gives birth, just so that we can maybe have another chance of passing those nimble fingers. Though any baby that she has is guaranteed to have at least one claw because she has two of them herself. So at least we would know that it would be a um, stronger baby, as opposed to Ivy's children who have a chance of course of having her no paw, just like Summer. Poor little Summer who managed to inherit the no paw but no nimble fingers. So she has a little bit of um, a tougher time on the side of the island. But yeah, these guys are traditionalists, and I feel like Sira, in her old age, might even have a little bit of a jealousy going with Duke Me. Maybe that's why she didn't follow her brother. Maybe she feels like it was her birthright to take over the island, because we've never had a male reincarnation of anime before, so that's quite interesting. And then little Koreem. Little Koreem over here. She was actually one of the uh, first babies born on this part of the island, and I feel like she may have possibly watched from afar as little Dewey was trying to claw his way over to his family and she might be interested in joining him or at least seeing where he was going. So I think in this episode she is actually going to start making her way across the sands just to see where that mysterious creature that she remembers from her childhood went. So let's actually have her start moving that way right now. Um, we do have the bird in our skies again so we do have to make sure that all of our babies are safe. Luckily Kareem has two gems right now and there is something way over there. Wait a second. Let's actually check this out first. It might be a bunny though. Let's see if it's a bunny. We'll hop in here. Yes, it is. So let's slap this guy and grab up his meat because we definitely need the um, extra sources of food right now. And like I said, like so many of these creatures are just way too interested in um, gathering up the meat sources that we don't really have a way to pick up the shells with nimble fingers or the berries, of course. So Eclipse is very important for the safety of our pack in general, just because he's one of the few who can actually give us berries. But um, for the most part, our creatures seem to be very interested in becoming carnivores. So let's move 
of Kareem. Um, I don't want to put her too close to the water just in case because she is a little bit younger, so she might drown. Um, we'll place her right here, though. I think she'll be safe right there. She's just um, a little bit in the water right now. She's just on the first tile, so she should be okay. And then she'll start making her way across all of these little islands until she can finally, finally see Dewey again. Little Dewdrop. We'll see if um, maybe she remembers Dewdrop from her childhood. And actually, Dewdrop is going to be spending a lot of his time on the land on the side of the island along with Isla, because they are the only two right now, I believe, who um, can't actually breathe underwater. So they're going to have to expand the territory um, right where they are. And Isla has already done very, very well because she's managed to find these two berry bushes for us. She can't collect them as well as Eclipse can, but she can at least pick a few of these berries. And um, right now we'll have Coral help her just to uh, get our food supplies a little bit higher before we charge off into the water and try to hunt some fish and some crabbits. We do have a couple of crabbits eyeing up our land right now, so we do need to like protect the territory and uh, make sure that these guys are not going to steal our nests because um, they have actually stolen our nests on previous islands before. So let's have Dewdrop move right over here so that he can help somebody attack this, um, this little crabbit on the next turn. And in fact, maybe Echo could do that. Maybe Echo could um, come over here as his first uh, duty as a possible leader of the pack. We'll see if he can gather us um, some new food. We do need to leave Splish right here to sit next to his baby Misty. Though we could move him at least um, a little bit further into the grass so that he could find us some resources. Excellent. Let's have him peek at all of these um, different patches of grass for us. We'll have the baby peek at the cactus just so that we know it's there. Just so that um, that grass isn't lingering in the middle of the territory. And we'll have Echo look at this grass because um, the crab is looking at him so he can't attack it. So that's this side of the family done. And then you guys over here, you need to pick your berries, of course. Of course. And um, we'll have Sira move back over here to breed with um, Eclipse, but first we actually need to have um, Ivy move around this way to protect the babies because we don't want the babies getting stolen by the bird. I think the bird is um, nearby. Yeah, he's actually hovering over this side of the pack right now, so we are going to have to keep a very close eye on that bird. But let's have Sira come right over here and then um, Eclipse can breed with her, but let's just make sure this is set up correctly. Okay, we have the Nimble Fingers in the 30% slot still, still in the 30% slot, and we had the um, normal blood clotting in there because Eclipse has hemophilia, so we're trying to uh, get that out of the pack as soon as possible. But let's have him breed with her, and then we'll move her right back next to the nest so that hopefully on the next turn when we can move um, this little baby out of the nest, she can give birth again before she passes away. But I almost forgot, I did want to uh, rename this little baby too. I wanted to name him Cinder because he has that gorgeous ginger mane, of course. So I think he will probably be another one who might want to see the outside world. Maybe he's not too impressed with the ways of um, the traditionalist pack. Maybe he isn't too impressed with all of these berries that they need to eat. So he might actually follow Kareem later on too to um, see what over on the western side of the island. And I was thinking, since these guys do follow the old ways of the pack, maybe all of their children will inherit the uh, green gems that Adam and Eve used to have. So I think everyone who comes from uh, the middle portion of the pack will have the green gems, we have the blue gems of course on our water babies, and these guys should probably start inheriting the uh, orange gems. So we'll change Eilair over to orange, and then we want her to move off of this nest so that her mother can give birth again. We'll go ahead and pick a couple of these berries because these guys are one of the uh, very few who can, and then a Dawn can pick up the rest. There we go. So she can sit right there. We'll have Duke Meme start um, making his way toward this tree, I think, and we'll actually have Bolt kind of like clear out some of this grass too, just so that it's um, not going to spawn anything on us, I guess. We don't need any more carnivores jumping out and trying to um, wreck our children. But I think that's about all of the turns that we can make right now. So let's go ahead and skip the day, and we'll see um, what this new little baby is going to look like. Oh my gosh, she looks like a spitting image of her mother, doesn't she? Or he, rather. Oh, I didn't see that little mane on top of his head. Teronu, that is adorable. Look at you. You have two claws. Excellent. You have the two claws just like your father, so you should be able to protect us very well, and for that matter, the big body too. Whoa, a seven in strength. Okay, so I think that might actually be like the highest strength we've ever had in this pack. I think that might actually be. So, I mean, despite the fact that he has the uh, spit snout, which is a little bit unfortunate, he does seem like he is going to be a very, very helpful member of the pack. Um, now let's see. We did want to breed them again, and before we were trying to see if we could maybe pull the um, poison fangs out from Duke Meme's line, because he does have it sitting in his genetics, so I thought that maybe, maybe at the very least, we 
we could see if it would um, show up in their recessives. Unfortunately, it hasn't happened yet, but we'll keep trying, we'll keep experimenting, and we'll see if maybe it works. We'll put the um, poison fangs in the 30% slot. And then I was also thinking, like speaking of experiments, I was thinking maybe we could put the red fur in the 10% uh, slot because we don't really have to worry about too many um, different um, flaws with this pairing since they don't have the no pause. So I think um, we'll just experiment a little bit with this. We'll move Duke Meme over here and then Dawn can come over here and breed with him. And then on the next turn, hopefully we'll be able to shuffle those babies around a little bit more. But um, Duke Meme for now, I suppose you could come over here just to um, light up the area a little bit for your baby, just in case. I mean, he only had one turn left anyway. And I think we might actually leave Bolt right on top of this for now. We'll leave him on top of the stump and um, he'll be our lookout just for now. I I am hoping that we'll be able to breed either Jasper or Bolt with um, one of the babies that are born. I mean, maybe even Ilair. Maybe Ilair could um, be the mate of either one of them, but she's not fully grown yet. So why don't we actually have her come out here and do a little bit of exploring too? We'll have her sit right next to this tree just so that she's not on the uh, swamp tiles. And then Jasper can kind of clear the way behind her just to keep her safe as well. So there we go. They can do a little bit of exploring together and then um, Dawn can pick up the berries and that is this side of the family complete. So let's see, how are we going to shuffle you guys around? So we have adorable little Cinder who I think will probably be um, making his journey along with Kareem pretty soon once he grows up, once he gets his second gem at least so that we know he's safe. And for now, he'll just kind of chat with her. He'll just uh, see where she's going because he's probably very, very curious seeing this um, panda, this little panda creature just randomly wander off onto these islands over here. So if we sit her right here, she should be just safe since um, she was fine on this tile before. Oh my gosh, no, she has a leech. She managed to pick up a leech. Where on earth did that come from? Oh no, can we get like somebody to come over there and take it off of her or is she actually going to get damaged? I mean, maybe. Maybe Dewey could help her. He could like lunge over here and he's just too short. Oh, that is so sad, but he tried. I mean, he'll come over here and then on the next turn at least he can take um, this leech off of her. But isn't that kind of perfect that uh, she was looking for a little Dewey and then he managed to uh, find her in her time of need. Though unfortunately we will need somebody else to come down here and help poor Echo try to get rid of these crabbits. So it looks like Misty has her second gem, thankfully. So we'll go ahead and change that over to um, blue. And then we could move um, Splish down here instead so that they can both um, tag team this little crabbit. So we'll slap him on both sides and there we go, just a couple hits and he's already done. So Echo, you can go ahead and pick up all of this crabbit meat for us. Two more days, I think, until he's um, fully grown and then he can take on his last gem and possibly take on this entire island too, this entire side of the island. He might just be their leader in a couple of days. But Isla, you can go ahead and pick your berries again. We want to um, at least clear these bushes while um, the babies are still growing up just so that we can get that extra food. Though if we only had a berry paw or maybe one of the creatures with um, double running legs, then it would be much, much easier to collect. Um, Misty can come up here and kind of grab from the shriveled up berry bush at least. I mean, that one's going to be a little bit easier to collect from. And uh, Splish, why don't you start making your way into the water, I guess? We'll see if we can find anything down here. Um, it looks like he'll have to go a little bit deeper before we can find any fish. So on the next turn, hopefully the water babies will be able to start fishing. And um, you guys, let's officially move you guys around. We want Sierra to sit in the nest first, so she'll sit right here. She'll have her very, very final baby. And um, Ivy? Let's see, what can we do with you? We could um, have you light up the area a little bit more. We could actually scoot you way up here. Oh my gosh, a bunny, a little bunny. There is definitely a little bunny there. Unfortunately, nobody is going to have um, enough energy to grab that little bunny for now. So it gets to live another day, but there's not many berry bushes around here. So I don't think it's really going to go far. I mean, it might try to go toward this one and then we could definitely have like Bolt jump down there or Duke Meme or somebody. They could definitely um, swipe up that bunny for us. But Eclipse for now, you can just pick your berries and I think that's about it. We could also have a Summer come up here to try to light up the area a little bit more and maybe, maybe try to find the bunny. I hope I didn't put her in too deep though. Oh geez, she looks like she's kind of underwater. I hope that wasn't too deep. Um, we'll have to pass the turn and see, I guess. Let's see, is she going to drown? Um, no, she's okay. Oh, okay. I was a little bit worried. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh, poor, poor um, little Kareem back here with her leech. And did we honestly get the poison fangs on this baby? 
honestly, like did the mutation menu get changed again on me guys? Or was that just a complete fluke? That is quite interesting, but look how adorable she is. She has the blue eyes, she has the uh, poison fangs of course, oh my gosh. You are gorgeous. You didn't manage to inherit, of course, the nimble fingers, so that messed us up again. But that is crazy. I really like this one. Hopefully she's going to be able to um, be a very, very helpful member of the pack for us. But since the mutation menu was kind of um, swapped around, we might actually want to make sure that the um, nimble fingers are in the mutation menu when we pass the day this time. Like I thought that this was how it was before, but it really seemed like in previous episodes, it only mattered when we bred the pair. Like I am just terribly confused now. I don't know if that was a complete fluke or what. I mean, neither of them have the poison fangs in their genetics. So it seems like this was actually caused by the mutation menu. I'm not sure guys. I'm not sure what's going on, but I think I hear some rustling. Yeah, there it is. Some rustling grass back here. So let's see. We can have um, Ilair jump over here and it's a bunny. We have a bunny burrow over here. Oh, that's excellent. Perfect for our little um, carnivorous side of the pack. So let's go ahead and um, peek in some of this grass. And then Jasper, you could jump right on top of the bunny burrow. And let's leave him right there for now, just in case, because the bunny might be going for this um, berry bush, which actually grew back already. That was very, very fast. So if it scoots into the grass right here, then we might be able to snatch it up. But for now, um, Teronu, we want you to jump over this way and we'll have um, actually Duke Meme protect you for now. We'll have him sit right there. And then um, Dawn, we want you to move into the nest. There we go. So you can pick a couple of the berries too, since you're one of the few who can. And um, unfortunately, the bunny seems to have completely scooted off. But actually, that might be a good thing because that might mean that there's um, more berry bushes up here somewhere. We just have to find it before the bunnies completely pick them clean. So Ilair and uh, Jasper are going to be doing quite a bit of exploring soon and we might actually pair these guys off we might have to do that and actually their immunity genes line up pretty well too I mean the no paw is kind of unfortunate but we're going to have to work with um whatever we're dealt with at this point so just to uh, keep her safe because we don't know if there's any wandering males in the grass we'll have them breed when she grows up that way um we can rest easy knowing that she is definitely safe and you know since Bolt has his running leg so he could actually pick up a couple of these berries maybe we should have him swap places with Duke meme so Bolt can sit right here for now to protect the baby, and then Duke Meme could actually sit right on top of the stump, just to keep the area lit up. And I feel like, I mean, he is kind of our sentinel anyway. He is the king, he is the sentinel. This could be like his little throne, his little throne right next to the water side. So he'll stay there for now just to um, keep the pack safe. And if there's any carnivore situations, he can jump down and um, attack it for sure. But for now, we'll leave Bolt right next to the baby so that he can help um, collect the berries. Since again, he's one of the very few who actually can on that side of the island. So unfortunately, Ivy, you're going to have to wait one more turn before you can have your baby, but we'll have Eclipse gather up the berries. And then um, why don't we have you scoot up here to clear out a little bit more of this grass for us? There we go. And then I think um, your baby could do the same. She could come up here. She could peek in this grass. We don't want them getting too close to the side of the pack. Because like I said, I think there's a little bit of bad blood between Sira and Duke Meme. So she might be a little bit um, concerned if she saw that Summer was so close to um, the rest of them. But let's finally finally have Dewdrop remove this awful leech. Oh my goodness. So I think this actually gives us some food, right? Let's see. Yeah, that actually gives us one piece of food, taking um, the leeches off of our creatures, so not bad at all. And Kareem, although you have lost um, one day of your lifespan from this journey, you have finally met up with Dewdrop, so that's adorable. They can um, come over to the side of the island and enjoy their little friendship together. And um, Kareem is actually going to be one of the ones who has to explore the territory up toward the north so she can help them expand too. We'll have her come over this way and Dewdrop, of course, will be able to um, follow her. He's a little bit slower because he has the um, webbed hind legs, so he's not as fast on land. But um, we'll have her scoot up this way. She could actually come right over here and then she'll be able to expand right away on the next turn. And, um, oh, there's something back there? Okay, we might actually want to take a look at that. I was going to have them start moving into the grass, but um, we might actually want to look at that. So let's have Coral jump over here. Aha, the bunnies. So the bunnies are like scooting from this side of the uh, island right over past the stream and into the um, water baby territory. So we're going to have to clear out this area a little bit or at least um, keep an eye on them. Let's have Misty grab up the berries so that they can't steal them on us. And I think they may have like scooted way off somewhere else. Yeah, they're <laughs> they're not 
interested anymore now that we've uh, cleared out the area. So let's change Isla's final gem over to blue. There we go. And she can um, continue collecting the berries for now. And uh, there's our bunny. There's our little bunny. Unfortunately, we don't have anybody in the area who can actually grab it just yet, but I am keeping a very close eye on you, little bunny. And uh, Splish, we wanted you to start moving off into the water, so we'll scoot him down here. We'll see if we can find anything. Um, we do have an area for the fish to spawn, but unfortunately nothing is down here yet. I um, mean, if we only had those nimble fingers, if we only had the nimble fingers or the cracker jaw, then we could pick up all of these shells too. So that is another one of my priorities. Hopefully we're going to be able to um, find a way to mutate those nimble fingers onto this side of the pack too, if nothing else, just so that we can collect all of the shells in the water. But for now, Coral, why don't you go ahead and peek in the grass since the bunnies aren't really coming back. And then I think we might be done for this turn. We could um, at least move Syrah off of the nest there we go. And that bunny, are you going for the shell? Are you a little shell collecting bunny <laughs> looking for treasures in the water? That's kind of adorable. Um, we do need to leave, of course, little Cinder right next to um, Eclipse. So he's going to stay there. And yeah, I think we are done with this turn. So let's see what becomes of uh, this little baby back here. I mean, we bred Dawn when we had the Poison Fangs and the uh, Red Fur in the mutation menu, but now we have the Nimble Fingers and uh, let's place something really random here. Let's place like the digging pond here or something just to see if like some craziness happens and this baby ends up being born with a digging pond instead. I mean, I would be very, very surprised if that mutation worked of all things, but just to see, just to kind of experiment so we can get a better grasp on um, this mutation menu. Oh my gosh, she is so adorable though, sees. Oh, that is so cute. She does have two immunity gene Fs, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. But you could possibly be like the heir to the side of the island if um, we needed to choose one because you have the adorable double claws, of course. You're waving at us with your double claws, so that is very, very possible. Um, She has a six in strength too, so she's another one who's going to be able to help us out. And she does have the normal body, which means she should be able to move um, a little bit easier across the island. But for now, let's see. We want um, Bolt to come over here to protect the babies. And then we can have Dawn scoot up this way to breed with her mate again. Um, but yeah, the mutation menu, like that didn't really seem to affect this baby at all. I mean, it didn't get the poison fangs and um, we also had the red fur in there, which it did not mutate either. So I don't know. I don't know. I am so confused with this mutation menu again. We'll go ahead and place the poison fangs back in here, I suppose, because we certainly don't need um, the nimble fingers on this side of the island. That wouldn't make sense for their story. So hopefully they're not going to uh, mutate that of all the creatures who could mutate the nimble fingers. So we have the poison fangs in there and the uh, red fur yet again, and we'll have um, them breed. He can breed with her to use his turn since he's just going to be sitting on his throne anyway. And then um, she can move over here to pick a couple of the berries. And there's that bunny again. Um, unfortunately, Ivy is a little bit too slow to get the bunny. So let's see if it moves a little bit closer. It is. All of these shell collecting bunnies. They're looking for treasures. Though you're actually gonna drown, aren't you? You are like completely underwater. I wonder if the bunnies actually do take um, drowning damage. That would be interesting. And look at you, little cinder. You're all grown up and you're ready to make your journey too across um, all of these different islands. So we'll move you right up here. So you can um, scout out all of these shells apparently that we can't collect. And hello, hello Echo, you are completely done growing. And I think we are officially going to give him his special gem. So his are kind of reversed. Since he is, um, I guess, technically the king of the seas, his uh, special gems are reversed as opposed to Duke memes over here where um, his starts with the green gem. So hopefully that'll be a nice way to kind of tell them apart. And I think he should probably start making his way into the water too. We'll have him scoot off this way to try to find some fish, though it is very, very quiet down here, which is a little bit worrying. Um, yeah, I don't see any fish in the area. And thanks to um, his water body, he actually moves much faster than um, Splish does in the water. So Splish might not be the best one to a take down here, but look at this thing. What on earth is this plant? We're going to have to investigate that with Splish in a moment. But yeah, for now, we'll just leave Echo down there. But pretty soon, I would actually like him to um, start having a family on the island. And maybe even with Kareem. Maybe that would be a good idea because she is a newcomer in the pack. So um, some new blood to um, diversify the genes of the side of the island. And there's all of those bunnies again. They are just everywhere, right in this little pool. 
I mean, if we could only get some of our creatures over there to possibly grab them, but I don't want to leave the babies unprotected either. Now, where is the bird? Way back here. Oh my gosh. I wonder if there is um, some creatures back here that it's going after. I know we've had that situation on previous islands, so that might be the case. But um, for now, let's see. This side of the pack, we were actually going to have um, Jasper and Ilair breed before they start exploring. So let's go ahead and change her final gem over and then we'll have them uh, breed together. He could breed with her and then they can start scooting off this way. And who knows, maybe at the very least, they can find um, a nest that they can settle down around. But for now, we are actually going to clear out the area as we explore just so that our other creatures can get up here too. I always like to clear out the grass as we're exploring just to make those uh, very important pathways. And oh my goodness, these bunnies! All of these bunnies! Unfortunately, I can't have Bolt go down there because then he would leave the baby unprotected. Um, okay, so I guess Ivy, let's see, she has five days left of her life and she is still pregnant with that baby, so I don't want her to go too far away. Um, but we could possibly have her try to grab one of those bunnies. Like, it's a very, very tricky situation. I think, honestly, we should probably have her give birth. We should probably just leave the bunnies right there. I mean, they're not doing anyone any harm. There's no, um, berries that they're stealing at this moment. So we'll go ahead and have her move, um, down here. And can she actually get into the nest in this turn? Let's see, we'll move um, little Komiko, that is an adorable name. We'll move her right there, and then Ivy can sit in the nest. Okay, and hello, hello little bunny, you are just a little bit too close. So at least Eclipse was able to grab one. That's not his uh, preferred task, of course, because he does just love to eat all of the berries all day long. But um, at least he managed to collect a little bit of food for the pack. And for that matter, Summer can come down here and grab the food for us. And now we have three extra pieces of meat to use. So these bunnies are really eyeing up these berries, which is quite interesting. Maybe we could use them as traps, actually. Since this is like our carnivorous side of the island, they could use the berry bushes as traps instead to lure the bunnies closer to them so that they can grab them. That might be a little bit helpful. So this side of the island now. Um, we do definitely need more creatures picking from these berry bushes because poor Isla can't keep up with them with her um, one little running paw. So for now, why don't we actually have her start exploring this way? We'll have her peek in some of this grass so that she can maybe find um, even more resources for us to use. And Misty can grab her one berry off of the uh, shriveled up berry bush. And then I guess we'll have her sit over here for now. Um, she was going to help her brother and her father kind of collect from uh, all the fish down there, but there's no fish. So I'm not sure if that's going to be the best idea after all. We might actually have them explore the um, stream next instead because there might be more fish down here. There are quite a few areas for them to spawn. My only concern is that we're probably not at a high enough fishing skill for them to actually collect the fish. So that's why when Echo starts his family with possibly Kareem, we're going to see if we can mutate the fishing tail on them instead. Hopefully I'll be able to figure out how the mutation menu actually works before then too. So Kareem, why don't you peek in this grass for us? And then, um, Coral, you can come over here and help, um, your little daughter pick up some of the berries, too, because we need more fingers over there, more paws to help us. And, uh, Dewdrop, we want you to start exploring, too, so you can come up here, peek in this grass so nothing can spawn on us. And I think we might actually be done with this turn. Um, Sira still has quite a few turns, though, though she has to protect the baby. Okay, so she could, um, sit right here instead. Okay, so let's see what Ivy's little baby is going to look like. Oh, Sira. Oh, poor Sira, that is so sad. And look at that, you have the same snout, of course, as your father. Oh my gosh, but still no nimble fingers, guys. Still no nimble fingers, that is crazy. So once again, I will slap those nimble fingers right in the 30% slot and we will leave them there this time. We will actually leave them there. And then hopefully when um, Ivy has her very last baby with Eclipse, she can um, finally give birth to a baby with nimble fingers because we are getting very, very close to the end at this point of um, all of these different pairings. For now, Eclipse, I mean, you could at least pick up one of these shells. We have so many shells here, which is kind of the um, unfortunate part of this entire situation. So many missed um, shells, missed potential for food. So Summer, since you're fully grown, why don't you come over here to protect this little baby for us? This uh, traditionalist side of the family is really not doing too good. I mean, they are definitely the smallest part of the family right now. What? What are you? Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. Isn't he gorgeous? And he actually has the nimble fingers too. Where did you even come from? Kanuvan. Oh my gosh, he is 
gorgeous. He has the black fur. How long has it been since we last saw the black fur too? Like I think it was on our previous island before this update even came out. Oh my goodness, um, Kareem, if you could possibly invite this guy to our pack, there we go, so we can see his beautiful spit snout. Oh my gosh, Kanuvan, you are amazing. You only have nine days left of your life though, which is a little bit unfortunate, but this is perfect. This is literally perfect because he has the uh, nimble fingers. Then we can hopefully actually start breeding the nimble fingers into this side of the island. So maybe they can once and for all collect all of these shells down here in the water. Oh, that would be perfect. We're going to have to figure out who he's going to breed with though. Let's see. So we have G and H in his immunity genes. Isla has H and H. Okay, so that would not be a good pairing. Misty has H and A. Um, Coral has H and F. Okay, so it's not exactly the best situation, but we are still going to have to go through with it. We'll just take whatever we can get. So Misty and Isla both have the um, normal eyesight. They don't have any of the um, short-sighted traits, and of course Kanuvan does have two short-sighted eyes. So it would probably be best to um, go with either Misty or Isla because Kareem, unfortunately, does have the short-sighted trait in her genetics. So we're going to have to settle with one of these, and honestly, I am very tempted to choose Misty because of the panda patterns. If we could get another black panda on the island, I mean, it has been so long since we've seen those, so maybe. Maybe Misty could be the one who um, takes Kanuvan as a mate. Um, luckily, we won't have to worry about the no paw with this pairing. Yeah, I think we might actually do that, and we're going to have to start right away. We're going to have to start on this as soon as possible because he does have um, quite a bit of his life already missing. So we do have the nimble fingers in here. We absolutely have the nimble fingers in there, and I think we probably also want to place the um, normal blood clotting in here too because they both have one of those hemophilia genes. So it is possible that we could have that passed on to their babies instead. So we'll swap that around. We will have them breed straight away straight away so this is going to be the very first um water baby of the newest generation born into the pack and then for that matter you can actually sit right in between the berry bushes and you can finally help poor little isla who has been struggling for so long to collect all of these berries oh my gosh that is absolutely perfect and we have so much rustling over here too so i'm definitely going to have to check that out but i feel like they're probably all bunnies at this point um, but yeah, this is absolutely perfect. So now Isla can actually um, go deeper into the grass and she won't have to worry about leaving behind all of this food because she knows it is going to be completely swept away by this nimble-fingered creature. And why don't we actually have um, Coral help her out? We'll have Coral scoot up this way to um, hopefully clear out a little bit more of the grass around the stream. And there's that fish again. There's that fish down there. So is that like a clownfish maybe? or koi fish, I'm not exactly sure, but we do definitely want to see if we can maybe um, collect from that in the future. I do still feel like we're going to need the fishing tail to do so though. So hopefully we can um, get that to mutate on the pack soon as well after we deal with the um, nimble finger situation at least. And let's see what this thing does too. Let's see what this weird plant does. Like, is it some coral, maybe? Let's have Splish move over here. Oh, there's some of the fish. Okay, so some of the fish moved over to um, this plant. Are they, like, attracted to it, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, he can't collect from it. Okay, so it's one of those. It's kind of like um, that special plant off in the grasslands that we can't collect from if we don't have um, the collecting skill. So maybe Echo could come over here instead? Yeah, it's something we can collect from. So we have um, 231 pieces of food. Let's see if this affects it. No, no, but it gave him temporary water breathing. Oh my gosh, that is really not helpful for um, our water babies, the ones who can already breathe underwater. But it would be good if for some crazy reason we had to like submerge Cinder in the water or something, then he could scoot down there, grab this little plant, and then he could actually like maybe pick up some of the fish too. I don't know, so that's quite interesting. I wonder how long that actually lasts. It doesn't say on um, this little screen, so I'm not sure how long that would last, and I would hate to forget about them and accidentally have them drown because um, their water breathing ran out. But let's have Cinder finally move over here too, and he found all of these little crabbits. Oh my gosh, so maybe he could actually help some of our creatures um, kill the crabbits, and we'll see if he can um, start a little life on this side of the island as well. He followed Kareem after all, so I'm sure she will be quite pleased to see him. She's kind of following in his footsteps for that matter because um, she did the exact same thing to find Dewdrop. So we'll have them peek in the grass over here to clear it out a little bit more. Um, none of the bunnies have stolen my food, right? 
I think we're safe. I think all of the bunnies are still over here, so we should be fine. Um, we do want Dawn to sit in the nest though. Cease, we'll have you move right here next to Bolt, and then we'll have Dawn sit in the nest, and there was one of the bunnies eyeing up our berries, but we saw you. We saw you, little guy. Um, there's a bunny. Oh my goodness, you are getting very bold. We'll have Summer jump up here and grab you. Yeah, they are just all over the place over here, so we're definitely going to have a little bit more um, meat to deal with pretty soon, and let's have Ilya jump in here and see what's rustling. Um, I don't see anything actually. That's strange. Aha, there it is. There is that little bunny. Let's have Jasper come over here and pick up the meat for us. Okay, so no new nests in um, this area just yet but we will keep our eyes open for them. So I think to end out this episode, we'll have Bolt pick up a couple more of these berries for us, and then we'll go back here, and we'll have um, Ivy breed one last time with Eclipse. Eclipse is actually going to outlast her very, very much. So he's going to be um, staying here with all of his children. Well, some of his children. Unfortunately, quite a few of them have moved on because they're not really interested in the old ways of the pack. So we'll have Ivy come over here. Um, we do need the baby to come over here too. I almost forgot about that. Oh Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is the bird still up here? <laughs> Way back here, thankfully. So it would have to like really zip over here to get that baby. Um, but I think she's okay for now. So we'll have them breed. The mutation menu is set up just fine for their babies. So we'll have them breed. And then um, on the next turn, when we can move this little baby out of the nest, we'll see if Ivy can finally, once again, give us a baby with the nimble fingers. Though, if you guys have any ideas for the name of this little baby, then do let me know. I'm thinking we probably want to give it um, something along the lines of Ivy family so some sort of plant related name for this guy he is adorable isn't he with his little blue eyes oh my gosh and his spit snout too like i'm actually quite surprised that we haven't seen more spit snouts on this island because of course those wandering males always end up having the spit snouts that's why this guy kind of um scared me at first because i thought he was one of the wandering males but we are very very happy to have you in the pack Oh my gosh, I am so happy that we have him in the pack now. He is definitely going to be a huge help. And I'm really excited to see what sort of baby Misty is going to have too. Oh, that is going to be so much fun. So in the next episode, we will definitely see what sort of babies all of these creatures will be having. And hopefully we'll see the birth of one of our very first black pandas pretty soon too. So for now, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.